All right, you guys, it's Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. It's time for the weekly real estate market report for the Laguna Beach real estate market in the past seven days. And I'll just give you a quick snapshot. Last week, if you remember, we had 56 listings on the market. This week, we have 53. So not a significant change one way or another. We did have nine new listings come to the market this week compared to 11 last week. We had 12 price changes, and I expected all 12 of them to go down. Uh, only 10 of them went down. Two of them went up, uh, which is kind of interesting. So they must have had a ton of activity on those two. We have 20 homes currently in escrow. Um, last week, we had only 14, so that's good. Uh, 14 of those homes entered escrow this past week. So that's also a, a, a healthy number and higher than it's been in the past couple of weeks. The reduction that we've seen is in closed sales. Last week, we had 12 closed sales, and this week, we've only had seven, but still seven closed sales in a week in Laguna is pretty big. We had a huge sale in Irvine Cove at uh, 2538 Monaco. That was listed at 26 million, and it closed just above 20 million. So congratulations to Rex and Marcy for that, and then Andy Stavros on the other end for bringing the buyer. Huge sale, kudos to you guys for putting that together. So way to go. Uh, all right, the one other thing I wanted to bring your attention is the overall real estate market. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. Where are we? What's going on? The interest rate hikes a couple of weeks ago definitely impacted our market. I was at the School Power fundraiser at the ranch last night, and I heard a couple of conversations, and in fact, I was involved in one of them, about the market and recession and bubble and things like that. And I didn't want to bring it up at that point, but I couldn't help walk away and think, you guys, you need to understand what's going on with this market. The market is completely different than it was in 2008, 2011. And I just want to cite three things that are really different that make today's market a lot better and a lot healthier than we had experienced back then. Number one, unemployment. We were hovering around 10% unemployment for years during that time. We were waiting for that to happen. Number two, we had a ton of foreclosures sitting there on the horizon waiting to flood our market. Those homes were underwritten five, six years previous to the, you know 2008. Um, and so that's what I wanted to cite as number three, and that is the underwriting that has occurred over the previous seven, eight years now compared to what had occurred back then. Far different. The standards and regulations that you have to adhere to today are much stronger, much more um, restrictive than they were then. So the loans are in a much better shape than they were. And the people who hold these loans are much more qualified. So you don't see the uh, foreclosures sitting out there and waiting to flood our market and really bring this market down. So you guys, it's a lot different. I just want to emphasize that to you. You know, the government told us what they were going to do. This is a very controlled, um, I don't know, process that they're going through. We couldn't keep up with it. It's designed to slow this down.